Hello and welcome to Euphoria. Today I'm going to look at the detailed design for this yellow townhouse. This mock consists of this yellow townhouse and this three-storey apartment building on the same 32 by 32 base plate. There's a pavement running round the corner with a little corner courtyard garden here and with the connection points at the sides these two buildings meet the standards for a corner modular building. This video is part of a series looking at the design and construction of this mock and in part three of the series I looked at how I developed the structural design for these two buildings. So in this video I'm going to look at the detailed design of the townhouse part of this mock. Now you might recall from previous videos in this series that this house is a kind of serious upscaling of the tiny little townhouse that was in the Creator 3-in-1 set 31097 in that set it was a very small house with an open back and you had a number of options for how to configure it including one option which was a cafe on the ground floor but I decided I didn't want to do that I wanted to enlarge the house um, just keep it as a townhouse and have a living area and kitchen on the ground floor with a bedroom and a bathroom upstairs. So I changed the footprint of the house so that it was 14 studs wide at the front with this slightly enlarged window and 16 studs deep. I'm slightly constrained in the layout of this little house because on this side there's the apartment building on this side will be an adjacent building so I have the front on this side with the front door and there's just room at the back here for a rear entrance so I'm going to make it a bit easier on myself and use one of these standard staircase pieces however these are only six studs high and my ground floor is eight studs high so I'm just going to do an easy extension to this staircase using two inverted slope bricks and two 1x4 plates to make this into an eight high staircase so up to now I've designed it to have a staircase in the rear corner here and that staircase would emerge here on the upper floor. But now I've realised that gives me some issues with the internal layout of the upstairs. If you come up at the back of the house then it means the landing is here at the back and that makes it difficult to place the bedroom and the bathroom in the remaining space of the upstairs. I need to provide access to the balcony and to some extent to this window. I could swap these over but it doesn't make any difference to the circulation in the upstairs of the building and I can't really move this window because of the adjacent apartment building. So I'm wondering if I change it round so that the staircase comes up the other way there's still room when you come in through the front door to get round into the living area here and what I'd need to do is change the upstairs layout so that the hole for the stairwell is along this side so I'm going to try changing the layout to see if that layout works any better so here's the floor plate of the upper floor separated from the walls and here it is modified to have the hole just in this side instead of in the corner 
that should give me room for a landing area at the top of the stairs here, a large bedroom in this area and a bathroom at the back. And if I fit it onto the ground floor like this then I can check that the stairs emerge in the right place here. So here it is with the walls reattached. I think that layout makes much more sense. And actually it's a cleaner layout for the downstairs as well. So now I've settled on the layout, I can look at a few more details, starting with the ground floor. So, as you come through the front door, there's room here for the fish tank that was in the original creator set and plenty of room to come in here into the living space. I'm going to put a little red sofa in here for the mini figs to sit on. And then on this side you have a little sideboard for storage and a kitchen area. I made a kitchen range out of several pieces and that includes a cupboard, an oven with a control panel and a hob above it and above that I've got a shelf with a few ingredients and a food mixer. And so with the new layout there's plenty of room to get round the side and up the stairs onto the first floor of the townhouse. So now I'll look at the first floor. On the first floor there's room to create a bathroom at this end with its own window on the outside and a doorway here into the main part of the room which is of course the bedroom. Inside the bathroom there's room for a bath, a toilet and a sink. I also changed round the windows at the back of the house so that the large window appears on this side and the smaller window is on this side. That means that the wall between the bathroom and the bedroom can fit between the two windows here. In this corner is a dressing area with a wardrobe and then the main bedroom area with a nice double bed and some bedside cabinets. And there's still room for access here, out onto the balcony. So now I'll look at the roof. I didn't like the strange blue bit of roof that was on the front of the original design. Instead, I've made the roof out of 45 degree slope bricks in light bluish grey with darker ridge tiles and a gutter along the edge of both sides of the roof. Originally I made the guttering at the side of the roof in tan because that's what I had but I've changed those to dark bluish grey when I got some and it looks much better. And here you can see how the guttering feeds into the downpipes on the side of the building. So the gable ends are a continuation of the outside walls upwards but I've given them this decorative profile. So I've kept them in the same colour as the walls of the house. These bits need to be changed out for the same colour. I've given it a decorative profile and I've added some decorations on the front to add some interest and I've kept the parrots on the front as they're a fun and distinctive feature and a design cue from the original creator 3-in-1 set. I've kept a similar design for the rear gable although I've added a small window just to let a bit of light into the attic and I've also added cones instead of the parrots for a decorative feature at the back. So that's most of the detail design for the townhouse completed. There are one or two things still to finish off, such as getting bricks in the right colours to finish off the gables. 
and to finish off a bit of detail at the rear of the building. So I'll be looking at that in the next video which will cover the final design for this townhouse and apartment block mock. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to see more of my videos about my mocks and my Lego city.